I do have a request for the floor also from the International Service for Human Rights. You have the floor. Thank you. This is a joint statement. That this Council has chosen to blatantly ignore the findings of the FFM on Libya and end its mandate when crimes against humanity are being perpetrated with no sign of abating is shocking. That it is set to replace it with a capacity building resolution with no ongoing monitoring and investigation is shameful. It sends a message to militias that they can continue to perpetrate crimes without fear of consequences, including detention, rape, enslavement, sexual enslavement, killings, disappearances, and repression of civic groups. David Yambu, a refugee in Libya who was forcibly conscripted by the Rada militias and sent to war fronts, asked states, if the mandate of the FFM is discontinued, who will document the violations in Libya, including against migrants, and how will the victims find justice and accountability? Instead of appeasing unaccountable warlords and officials, the Council should let the victims know that they matter. It should mandate an investigative mechanism and OCHR to report on gross violations. We are deeply concerned by the trend of amendments tabled across resolutions attacking gender equality and measures to address gender-based discrimination. We remind states of their obligation to prevent and eliminate gender-based discrimination and violence. It is not optional and should not be reduced in its scope. We are also deeply concerned by the attempts of some states to question the fact that a clean, healthy and sustainable environment is a universal human right, despite the recognition by the Council and General Assembly and in the context of the triple planetary crisis and strong demands for environmental justice across the world. Civil society participation is a cornerstone of the Council. We reiterate our calls to maintain hybrid modalities for all observers, reinstate general debates in June, maintain them unrestricted, and ensure that civil society can engage with the Council without intimidation and reprisals. We welcome the resolutions on children, drug policy, right to a healthy environment, defenders, expression, Belarus, DPRK, Georgia, Haiti, Iran, Myanmar, Nicaragua, South Sudan, Syria, and Ukraine. We regret that the Council failed to respond to the situations in Algeria, China, Egypt, India, and, and Saudi Arabia. The full version is on the extranet. Thank you.